The town with three prophets. There was a town of disbelieving people who used to worship idols. Allah sent them not one, not two, but three messengers to guide them to the straight path. When Allah sent two of the messengers to this town, they denied both of them. So Allah gave these people another chance to be guided and sent the third messenger who tried to explain to the people that they were sent by Allah to bring them to the straight path. The disbelieving people replied and said, You are just human like us. Like us. And the most merciful, Allah has not revealed anything. You are only telling lies. They refused to believe and insulted the messengers. The messengers stood firm and said, Allah knows that we are not lying and we are actually messengers. And our duty is to deliver the message clearly to you, you all. The disbelieving people replied by saying, You messengers are bad luck for us. If you don't leave, then we are going to stone you to death and punish you with a painful punishment. These messengers do not get scared. They knew that Allah was with them. They told the people, Are you saying that we are bad luck because you are trying to remind you of the truth? All of you are crossing limits. Then suddenly a believer who lived the farthest end of the city came rushing. He advised, Oh my people, follow the messengers. They don't want anything from you. They just want you to be guided. And why should I not worship the one who has created me and to whom that you will be returned? These false gods you worship cannot benefit me, help me or save me. I believe in Allah, so listen to me. But the disbelieving people killed him. And he was told by the angels to paradise. If only my people knew how my Lord has forgiven me and honoured me. The disbelieving people of the town were destroyed by Allah with one mighty blast. Why? Because they denied and mocked at the messengers of Allah. As Muslims, we should not deny the truth and be stubborn. But we should be firmly in the truth and prepare for the day where we will meet Allah.